Alright guys, we are on the unofficial Oblivion Remastered patch mod page on Nexus Mods. As always, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so you guys can follow along with everything that I'm doing. And with that out of the way, uh, please, please don't forget guys, if you do like this mod, please endorse it. That is basically the like button of Nexus Mods. Right. Now if that's all out of the way, let's dive into manual installation. So one thing to note real quick here is the requirements tab. This mod does not require any other mods in order to function. Pretty plain and simple, but several mods are already requiring this mod, which I expect to grow quite a bit. This is one of those uh, unofficial patch mods that you see pop up in Skyrim and Oblivion before it and probably even Morrowind as well but uh, essentially just fixes a ton of different issues that pop up in these games. They are Bethesda games after all. Okay, diving into manual installation. So you can see here in the files tab we have two different files here. We have the regular unofficial Oblivion Remastered patch, and we have the one that says Deluxe. Now, if you do not have the Deluxe Edition, you only need this file right here. It's just the unofficial Oblivion Remastered patch. If you do own the Deluxe Edition, you need to also install this one. You need both of these in order if you have the Deluxe Edition. All right, now let's go ahead and download these. So I'm going to download this manually, the slow download. And I'm going to go ahead and download the deluxe as well. And now that we have both of these downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and extract them with 7-zip. And now we can go ahead and delete both of these zip files because we have these extracted. And I'm going to open up the unofficial Oblivion Remastered patch without the deluxe edition first. And we just need to put this in our game folder. And for those wondering where your game folder is, which I'm sure most of you probably already know, it's wherever your uh, Steam folder is located, which mine is in my C drive. Just go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Oblivion Remastered. And then from here, we go into Oblivion Remastered, go to Content, Dev, OBV Data, Data, and if you see a bunch of ESP files here, you know you're in the right place. And if we scroll down here, you can see that I already have the unofficial Oblivion Remastered patch and the unofficial Oblivion Remastered patch deluxe ESP files here. And that is because I already have this mod installed with Vortex. But what you guys need to do with this is drag and drop all three of these over here into this data folder where all these ESPs are, and once you've done that, you have successfully installed the unofficial Oblivion Remastered patch, but there is one more final step you need to do, is you need to open the plugins.txt file in that same folder, and you need to include this, this ESP file, that you just put in here, you need to add exactly how that file is spelled, exactly with spaces all the way here, including the .esp part. <coughs> and you need to include this right here uh, after all of the base game and all these DLCs, plus Knights, plus Alter ESP and Alter Deluxe. 
make sure this is after all of these, but before these right here. <coughs> all right. So that is it. You add it here and then you save this file. And then that is it for just the base <coughs> unofficial Oblivion or Master patch. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the Deluxe Edition. And you can see here we have yet again another ESP file and a docs folder. All you need to do is drag and drop these again to the same location with all those ESP files, the data folder. And you can see I have that already there. And then once you're done with that, again, you have to open the plugins.txt file and make sure the file name ends in ESP is included right here. And it does have to be after the unofficial Oblivion or Mastered patch. So your load order should look like this followed by any other mods that you have. You do want the unofficial Oblivion Remastered patch files cl as close to the top as possible, but still under both the Alter ESP main and Alter Deluxe.esp. And you do want all of these <coughs> above these two ESP files. Okay, if you've done that, you have officially installed the unofficial Oblivion Remastered patch, including the Deluxe Edition. If you do not own the Deluxe Edition, you do not need this file at all, and in fact, you should not install it. Just FYI, this requires the Deluxe Edition, so if you don't own that, do not get this installed. All right. <coughs> Now that that's all wrapped up, guys, hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process and easy to follow along. I know a lot of people were requesting a manual installation video covering this mod, and here we are. If you did get lost along the way or confused by anything, please let me know in the comments down below, and I will do my best to address any issues that you are encountering, and hopefully we can get this uh, set up and installed for you. All right, guys, with all that out of the way, as always, happy modding and happy Mondays. Hey, guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I really appreciate it. And I hope it was very helpful showcasing this mod and showing how to install it. Um, I'm really hoping that we can get this channel growing so that we can uh, show as many people as possible how uh, easy it is to install some mods and showcase some really good mods that some hardworking people come up with. Um, in order to do that though, I, I'm really going to need you guys' help. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with as many people as you can. We'll try to get this channel growing, and hopefully it helps as many people as possible. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.